All right, nerds. So today we're going to talk about astronomy, obviously, but we're going to talk about what's in our solar system and a very brief overview of the different components of it. All right, so let's get into it. Now, this is a very not-to-scale picture of our solar system, and we start off over here with, say, Mercury and Venus and Earth and Mars and Jupiter and Saturn, Uranus and Neptune. Now, Uranus is how that's said, not Uranus. But don't stress, Uranus is just as funny. And here are all the dwarf planets. So we'll get into what makes a planet a planet a bit later, a bit further down the road. So, the Sun. Now, the Sun is the, the center of our, our solar system, and it's everything rotates around there. So, a solar system is a collection of objects that orbit the Sun. It's not just the planets, there's also an asteroid belt, the Kuiper belt, and yeah, so it's everything that rotates around the Sun. Um, it's a star. It's, it's a thoroughly ordinary star. It's a medium-sized star. It's not special in any way. It's just something really special because it has us around it. Now, it's a ball of gas or plasma. Plasma is the fancy word for it, the proper scientific word for it. So it's a ball of plasma that's undergoing nuclear fusion. Now, what this means is really simple particles come together, and because of the heat and the pressure, they, they get pushed together so hard that they become one particle. So fusion means to join together. So they become so simple particles like hydrogen and helium get pushed together to make more complex particles like lithium and beryllium and so forth. All right, so during that fusion, it releases energy, like a lot of energy. And that is all heat and light that's radiated out to the Earth. Okay, so it's gravity. Remember we talked about gravity, and gravity is what brings it in as a ball. It's what makes it a ball. All right, 99% of the solar system's mass is the sun. Like it's, that's the sun. Um, so that remaining 1% is all the planets, all of the asteroids, comets, you, everything else. All right, and it's a very dynamic environment. You can see here, like a lot of people imagine the sun as this, this nice, happy yellow ball, but it's a very angry, um, lots of stuff going on. Uh, for example, this is what we call a coronal mass ejection. You don't really need to know that. You just need to know every now and then, because of the magnetic field, giant big bands of... Um, of matter gets spewed out from the center, well not, from the, not even the center, but from within the sun. And to show you how big it is, that's the Earth, right there. That's, I mean, it's obviously further away, if we were that close we'd be dead, but that's how big this ejection is, just compare, compared to the Earth. All right, so, we don't need you to write down much. Uh, essentially, just write down what we've had so far, and this little bit and the next bit, don't worry about the pictures. So, the terrestrial planets, and rocky, that means rocky, is terrestrial so small and rocky which means it's solid essentially a, a solid chunk of landmass and you'll see what we mean when we talk about ones that aren't and they are the four closest planets to the sun okay so there's mercury look at mercury it's got no atmosphere because there's lots of you know all the gas is too hot it's too hot it's too close to the sun the gas just it gets heated away blown away and it's a really scarred piece of rock then we have Venus. Venus has an atmosphere. Venus, and you can see there's clouds and all sorts of stuff. And Venus essentially has an atmosphere very similar to ours, except with a lot more carbon dioxide. It has what we call a runaway greenhouse effect. So the greenhouse is just super hot. Earth, you know that place. You live there. That's from Apollo 8, and that's the moon. And you see how it's in shadow around here, and that's because, well, the sun, the moon's blocking out the sun. All right. So, there's Mars. That's our last rocky planet. You can see it's got these icy polar caps, and yeah, it's pretty rad. So, the remaining four are gas giants, okay? So they're very large balls of gas, not near as big as the sun, but very large balls of gas, and they're the furthest four planets from the sun, okay? So we've got Jupiter. Jupiter's pretty cool. Um, this ball here, I think it's, you could fit like a couple of, couple of Earths in there, like that's how big this planet is, two or three Earths could fit in that ball there, and that's a storm, and that storm's been raging for about 400 years, that was one of the first things that was seen by Galileo Galilei when he looked at the planet Jupiter. This is Saturn, you know Saturn, because it's got the rings around it, that's everyone's favourite planet, these are all real pictures by the way, none of them are artist impressions or animations, um, 
This is Uranus. Now Uranus has a weird tilt. It actually, it's a sideways planet, and its rings go sideways compared to its orbit. Whereas all the other orbits, if, if here's the planet and it's going around this way, the rings go around like that. And then finally we finish with Neptune. Uh, Neptune is not visible to the naked eye and was only discovered basically because of the way it makes uh, Uranus wobble, basically. All right. These are two of my favorite pictures. There's this one and there's the next one. This is an animation, not an animation, it's actual footage of the red eye. That's this one here. And that's that storm we were talking about that's about 400 years old. It disappeared for about six months and then it came back. Um, and then the next one. That is Saturn eclipsing the sun. So there's a, a, a shuttle, uh, sorry, a, a satellite right behind Saturn. And it's, it, that's the point where it got completely in the way of the sun and the angles worked out and it just completely eclipsed the sun and was super rad. All right, that's it for today. Most of it was just for fun. Uh, there was a little bit there that you had to write down at the beginning about the sun and, and stuff, but yeah, hope you enjoyed it.